What is up everyone and welcome to another video that is related to a free PC but this one is much more exciting than the last few that I've been doing. Today I've got this Dell and it's one of the oldest PCs that I've ever got in so this is so exciting. I'm not keeping it, I'm just going to take a look at it in this one video because it is definitely worth taking a look at because it's so old and I've also got the original monitor so uh, we'll dig that out as well in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to take a look at this Dell. Um, it's going to be really awesome, a nice fun way to end the week. So taking a look at the tower then, it doesn't actually look that ATX, but I do believe it is ATX standard. Um, if we take a look internally in a second, you'll be able to see what I mean. Um, but on the front, we've basically just got a CD drive, floppy drive, power button, Dell logo, some stickers down there, and that is pretty much it. As you can see, the optical drive has been very badly affected by the uh, yellowing. On the back, as you can hopefully see, we've got a whole load of nothing. It does actually have USB ports and integrated video, which is cool, um, but it does not have integrated audio. There is a sound card down here, along with uh, a modem card. It does not have an integrated modem, so that is very interesting. So taking a look at the side, you guys can probably tell it's actually a shorter system than your standard Micro ATX system. It's a very small tower, which is quite nice. If we pull the back, the side just lifts down like this, which is cool. It is quite a nice design. And not that you can see much because the PSU is actually here, but it is indeed uh, what I believe to be maybe standard ATX, uh, uh, sorry, standard micro ATX, but I am really not 100% sure at this moment in time, but it really does look that way. So I'm gonna lower the camera a little bit and show you guys inside as much as I can. So instead of keeping it on the tripod, guys, this is such an awkward little system to film that I thought I'd be better off handheld. So as you can see, the top of the system is reserved for the drive bays, so the optical drive bay and the floppy bay here. Um, and there's not a lot in this corner here. This is actually pretty much wasted space as far as I'm concerned, but there is quite a lot of cabling, which is out the way up there, which is cool. If we look at the back, you can see that the PSU is next to the motherboard. It's mounted just next to it. Um, and then behind the PSU, you can see the motherboard that looks to be a standard Micro ATX because it's a four slot board. You can also see the two cards down here. This is the SAM card and uh, this is the modem card. The modem and the sound card are both attached. I assume this has something to do with the dial up tone. And then there is another lead coming off of the sound card, which uh, is probably going to the optical drive and I can in fact see it going into the optical drive just around about over there I believe. So that is fairly interesting guys, I'm not too sure what that's all about. Um, as you can see there's one stick of RAM in the system, the PSU is in the way of us seeing the processor but as you can hopefully see in there, let's see if I can zoom in successfully. Uh, I don't think it'll focus in there, guys. I'm so sorry about this. The PSU is totally in the way. But basically, um, the processor is, is behind there. And as, as far as the system goes, it seems to be very simple. The hard drive is here, by the way, guys. So single hard drive mount, just smack bang on the front of the case. Nothing fancy. Um, and this is pretty much it. So the door, just literally, to put it back on, you just line it up on the bottom, like this and snap it back into place. And it's actually quite easy to put back together. So now that we've had a tiny look inside, guys, let's dig out the monitor. I'm gonna find a keyboard and mouse because unfortunately I don't have the original keyboard and mouse. I really don't know what happened to those. They may still be there. Um, I really, it would have been nice to have the original Dell keyboard because it was a proper retro one um, from you know the late 90s Dell era. But um, I do have a PS2 keyboard upstairs, I think, and I hopefully still have a PS2 mouse. I know I've been doing quite a lot of getting rid of this, that, and the other, but I really hope I do. This system has USB on it, but I'm not sure how well um, a USB mouse will work with whatever old version of Windows that's on here. It will probably work fine. I believe this has Windows ME installed. I could be totally wrong. Um, so a USB mouse would probably work fine, but I would prefer to find a PS2 one, just so that the two peripherals are our PS2. So I'm going to spend a couple of minutes getting a nice little setup with the old monitor guys. I 
and let's see how this looks. I am actually quite excited to boot it up. It's been a while since I've booted a machine of this age that isn't a Mac. And you know, as much as I love doing Mac stuff, and as you guys know, Macs are my favourite, um, there is something special about these PCs because I was still using PCs in this generation. And I had a very similar system, but it was an, a Windows 98 system, uh, which is my first computer. So yeah, it wasn't a Dell either. Actually, it was nothing like this, but you know, similar era. Um, so anyway, I'm going to uh, get set up and in the next clip, guys, hopefully you will see a working machine. Well, everyone, here it is set up. Now, I was indeed wrong. The monitor is not a Dell original. It's a Fujitsu and I managed to find this HP PS2 keyboard upstairs along with this Compaq PS2 mouse, which is an awesome find because it has right left click uh, right and left click a scroll wheel and of course the ball on the bottom so that's sort of the best mouse i could have found um this is not the original monitor of course you know dell the dell monitor that came with this would have been a, an original monitor so i believe they had another tower before this the monitor is a bit older than the tower um, so, of course, the monitor on the end has a male IEC. If I can drag this up to show you, it has a male IEC. So, um, this PSU does not actually have a female IEC output, which is rare. Um, even Macs of the time had female IEC outputs so that they could power the monitor as well um, through a single connection, which is, you know, still to this day pretty cool. But anyway, we're all powered up, so let's see what it does. Let's turn on the monitor ready. And we have nothing. Let's try again. We actually don't have anything, guys. Interesting, okay. Let's just double check everything. It could be the kettle lead. Right, I may have to pause the camera and investigate. So, different kettle lead plugged in, let's give it a go. Hey, hey. that's more like it, guys. That is more like it. <laughs> okay, so. Right, the green LED is on. It is uh, whirring a little bit. Can't see anything on screen yet, of course. Um, so let's give it some signal. Let's power up the Dell. Three, two, one, go. And the Dell isn't working either, guys. Well, guys, I've been fiddling about with kettle leads and I've managed to pop the PSU. It literally went bang. Gutted I didn't get it on camera. Um, I opened the side panel, fiddled about with the 20-pin connector, and the system powered on. Uh, next thing you know, pop, and uh, the power supply goes. So I'm going to have to change the damn power supply in this thing, um, which is fairly hilarious. Um, and, yeah, I'm all confused now with all this wiring and stuff down here. I don't know where the hell I am. So I'm going to get myself sorted, and um, I'm going to change the PSU in this system. Just so we can power it up. I really hope um, it didn't take the rest of the system with it because, man, that PSU really did go pop. Pretty nifty, guys, I have to say. It just sort of slides out the way. It's got this quick release system. Um, yeah, so now I'm unscrewing the lock, going to unplug the lock, and hopefully I've got a PSU that fits in here. Guys, I've put all the screws in. This thing is totally BTX. I can't believe I didn't see it before. Um, this has this thing has uh, BTX screaming all over it. Um, all of the power connectors are totally proprietary and completely like nothing that I've ever seen before. Um, so that is pretty much a disaster. Um, but I'm going to try a different kettle lead now, just in case. Well, guys, unfortunately, this thing is history. It is totally toast, and that is uh, that is a big shame. Basically, to run over what happened, I guess. Um, something was loose to begin with, so after I wiggled the connectors, everything was fine. But maybe the PSU was just too damp, or it had its time or something. It basically made a large pop sound, and uh, I saw a little flash through the back somewhere here, but it was so uh, fleeting and so bright that I didn't uh, really know where it came from. So, yeah, the PSU definitely popped. I was going to change it for another one, but this system is totally non-ATX, and I can't believe I didn't notice that. Um, previously and also I can't believe it I didn't notice that you could swing the PSU assembly out of the way because I have seen other systems like this in the past it has been done but yeah this is about as BTX as they come guys so not a lot I can do with this um, 
which is a big shame. It would have been uh, good fun to mess around with, with the original monitor and everything. And I think it's got Windows ME on it, and I've never showcased ME on the channel, so very, very gutted about this, guys, um, to tell you the truth. There is literally zero, nothing I can do. Um, if the PSU was popped, the PSU was popped. So I decided to have another crack, guys, and took it apart again. And um, I have just taken the PSU apart. Um, let me see, the camera actually does okay without any light in there-ish. Um, yeah, I was hoping there'd be some fuse or whatever on the input. Um, I have no knowledge to fix power supplies, guys. And uh, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Um, I've taken the PSU apart to a certain extent to the point now where I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So um, unfortunately, I won't be able to get this Dell working. Um, and that has actually saddened me. It is uh, quarter past one on a Thursday. This will be Friday's video. And uh, I really don't know what to do. It's a big, big shame that the Dell is not working. Um, I almost feel as if I've got to go outside now and try and find another old PC to show you guys. Because uh, this would have been such a cool video. Uh, but I'm going to piece this back together now. At least it'll be in one piece to uh, throw away. So, yeah. Well, guys, it's Friday's video. And Friday videos have always got to be exciting. The excitement for today's video is going to be booting up Windows ME. And seeing how crap it was. And seeing if we could crash the computer. Or maybe even try out a little bit of an old game or something. Um, but... As you guys know, that plan has completely failed because the computer doesn't work and there's nothing I can do to get it working. So what I'm going to do is put the computer back together and then, yeah, completely back together and then <laughs> we're going to insert this firework inside the machine and we're going to... Uh, we're gonna watch it blow up or whatever it does, which is gonna be hilarious. I've never done anything like this before, guys. I just want a little bit of Friday excitement. I feel as if um, the multiple Power Mac G4 unboxings, um, along with this complete damp squib of um, a computer boot up is, uh, is very disappointing. So we'll put this in the lawn and for it being a crappy old Dell BTX system, we'll, um, We'll give it a bit of a see into, and then we'll bring it back up here after the firework has bounced about a bit to see what the damage is. So it totally goes without saying everyone, but please be careful if you're going to mess around with this type of stuff. I am an adult and I had two other adults on hand. I know I do have some younger viewers out there, so this kind of thing is indeed very dangerous. So you should never mess around with fireworks or stuff that blows up in general. It's not a good idea. And if you are going to do that, then I hope you are an adult and you, you know you're safe and everything's cool and yeah, everything's great. Um, so of course, I, um, I can't be held responsible responsible for any of the actions that you take after watching this video. I rarely do this kind of thing. As you guys know, my channel is all about old computers and getting the most from your older electronics and stuff like that. So I often recycle and reuse things like this. But this old Dell was just so crap and so pointless that I thought for a Friday video we should have some fun with it. So sit back, relax and enjoy the crazy footage of this firework going mental inside this Dell. And please, one more time um, I don't hold I can't be held responsible for anything that you guys do after watching this video everybody ready are they yeah right, I'll just have a test shot first okay Dell firework explosion take one that's not a test shot oh man oh no <laughs> it's gonna go bang in it. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, go on then. It's still smoking out the back a bit, Dad. Oh man. Oh, no way. 
Look at that. That is really, oh, lovely. Oh, if I put it flat, I can see into it then without getting my camera too wet. Oh man, that's the end of that. Oh, this is boiling guys. So guys, I brought it undercover so you can hopefully see. It stinks, um, it really does. But that was something. It's my first time ever being destructive with a piece of technology. You know, I hate the channels where they just, um, where they just smash stuff up for fun. But of course, you know, once off, it's okay. And uh, it would have been nearly impossible to find a BTX power supply for this thing anyway. And even if you did, when you powered it up, it would have been a complete piece of junk. So you can see that the firework even affected all these bits up here, even though it was contained under here and it's still hot. You know, I know you guys can't feel the heat obviously in video, but it's, it's, if I put my hand here, I can feel the heat rising from it, um, which is absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do in a second once it cools down is unfold the power supply. As you guys can see, I didn't put the power supply top cover back on, um, but we'll un unfold the power supply and just take a little look at the motherboard underneath. So guys, I can't unfold the power supply because the plastic has totally melted. Um, I could do it with force, but this uh, this system, I've just washed my hands now, this system is all toasty and horrible. As you can see, I've, ta I've taken one stick of RAM out, that is a 128 meg of stick, uh, megabyte stick of RAM. Um, but yeah, this is still hot, so I'm gonna leave it out in the open to cool down a little bit. So there we have it guys, that was definitely something, definitely something different. So guys, I'm back upstairs. We now have firework number two to insert into the... <laughs> no, I'm obviously only joking. Um, yeah, I'll be taking that monitor straight out later um, after I edit this video um, because it's no good to me now. I was gonna use it to showcase the computer, but yeah, the computer is no more as you guys saw. So various little bits and bobs to uh, to get rid of, but that is all cool. So this has been a very, very different video to what I usually do, guys. Man, sorry about the focus here. Um, camera got a little bit wet outside, it'll be all right. Um, but yeah, very different to what I usually do, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of extra fun on a Friday. It was definitely something um, that I've never ever done before and it was really cool, just a little taster of it. Um, it's not gonna become a regular thing, guys, don't worry, I'm still a, a nice variety technology channel, I'm not gonna start blowing up all my computers. But the Dell really did take the mic today. I wanted to show you guys the system, but it wouldn't let me, so it got what it deserved and I think it's time for it to, uh, it's time for it to go. So, guys, I hope you have a brilliant weekend. I am a little bit tired now, but I'm gonna edit this video. Hope you all have a brilliant weekend, and of course, I will see you next week with loads more exciting updates, loads of stuff to do with the Powerhack G4, and all sorts of other stuff. So massive thanks, take it easy. Yeah.